I'm going to present the chapter one, okay, the introduction to numerical methods, scale and errors. Basically, from engineering key problems, solving is either through the experiment, simulations, mathematical model where we can have an analytical okay, solutions or numerical methods. Then you will obtain the approximate solution. Okay, for example, if you have, let's say, y equal to x squared, then you can get the dy dx. dx can differentiate directly. So this is an exact solution. Okay, however, let's say from experimental data, we have t. Uh, this is a displacement x. T0, let's say 0, T1, let's say is 2, and if let's say 4, we have N, 7, let's say 15. If you want to find the so velocity, as you know, is dx dt, when t equal to, let's say, um, 1. I want to find the velocity when t equal to 1. t equal to 1. Okay, in this case, you don't have the function scale here, so you cannot differentiate directly. So, what you can do is using the numerical method. So, this is what we call numerical differentiation. Numerical differentiation, which is uh, in chapter 5 in your syllabus. Okay, or you want to find back the, you have the, uh, here, okay, oh, here, erase it, huh? see, see, this is a velocity, so you want to find, this is acceleration, then t equal to 1, okay, now I want to find back, okay, the distance, the distance traveled okay, by this particle from 0 to 7 seconds. So, where the distance is actually the integration of velocity dt, say from 0 to 7 seconds. Again, okay, I don't have the velocity function, but I have the data only. So, I need the numerical integration. Integration, which is a, this is a chapter 6. This is chapter 1. Okay. Or you want to uh, yeah. let's say and t equal to 3, you want to know what is a velocity moment. So this one you need the interpolation. Okay. Or you want to get okay, this is a value, huh? or you want to get okay, v as a function of t. Also, this one you need the technique of interpolation. Because you have function, you can directly differentiate or integrate. If you've got the value, then you need the need. You want to do differentiation and integration, you need the numerical differentiation, numerical integration. So this is chapter 4, 5, 6. Okay, it's chapter 1, introduction to numerical methods and errors. Okay, chapter 1 is a non-linear equation. Chapter 2 is a system of linear equation. Okay. Four is here. This is five, six, seven is a numerical ODE, TPE. We have the item values. Then we have three uh, rounding errors. Okay, given the three over seven plus five over six, perform each of the above computation. Okay, I want to show you. But this only can in this board, okay? So, okay. Oh, 
function. Over seven plus five. Over six. Okay. In the fraction form, this is exact solution. And four digit chopping, okay. Two, one, two, three, four. So one point two six one. The rest of the digit truncate it, remove it, divide it. If four digit rounding, okay, one point two six one is four digit, okay. Behind one nine, which is greater than five, so we increase one to the one, so it become one point two six two. Okay, if round to four decimal place, so one, two, three, four. Um, okay, behind the nine is zero, which is okay, less than five. So we not increase the nine here, become one point two six one nine. Then okay, four decimal place. Uh, if round, yeah, four point two six. One nine. This four is not there, so we look at this digit. If greater than five, this one is plus one. Less than five, we just remove it. Okay, this is rounding. Okay, if truncation errors, okay, is. When we use the, especially the Taylor series, this is Taylor series for exponent k, exponent x. Okay, you may take a few term only in your calculation. For example, you take three term or five term, then you introduce the truncation errors. Given this is a okay, exact solution by exponent x squared, find the approximate okay, same approximation by replacing the integral fx equal to exponent x squared with the truncated Taylor series. Okay. Uh, this one is four. This is actually Taylor series for exponent x. Okay, question A is actually replaced by Taylor, okay, the five term of Taylor series of exponent x, so let's put it in. So the exponent x squared replaced by, if x replaced become x squared, so x squared squared again, x power 4 divided 2 factorial, okay, so x squared power 3, so become x power 6 over 3 factorial plus x power 3 over 4 factorial. Question A using 5 term, question B using 3 term. Of the Taylor series. Okay, so this is equation 1a. So exponent x squared replaced by five term of the Taylor series from exponent x. And integrate term by term. Plug in the upper limit, deduct the lower limit, which is zero. Simplify it. Okay, this is up to, and then this is a solution. Okay, and then we should see the pattern. One, two, 
ます。So it found to four decimal places. Five, four, four, nine. Behind nine, eight greater than five. So increase one to nine. So five, four, five, zero. Okay. And compare to using three term, you obtain this one. With three term. Five four four seven nine one six seven. Round to four decimal places. Five four four eight. Five four four eight. So this is due to the truncation errors. Okay, to compare which one is better, but normally the more term is more accurate. So we have the so called the okay, absolute errors. Is a different between. The magnitude between the different of exact and approximate. Why one? Approximate is not exact because you take the magnitude, so it doesn't matter. So this exact is approximate. Relative error is the absolute error by the magnitude of exact because some exact will have a negative value. Okay, so if you want in terms of percentage, you may multiply by 100%. Then find the absolute error and relative error for value given below. This is exact, this is approximate. The exact, this is approximate. This is exactly approximate. Okay. This is what you obtain for absolute error. The relative error, take your absolute error, divide by your okay, the exact value. The example 2B, exact, this is a approximate. Okay, relative error, the absolute error divided by your exact. Okay. Okay, the 2C, this is a exact approximate, so you get absolute error here. So, relative error, the absolute error divided by okay, uh, this one. Divide by this exact is three four zero. You get this here zero point two five. If you want in terms of percentage, multiply by hundred, so it's twenty five percent. So this is about the introduction to numerical method and error script. So thank you.